To start off, I am priming my face with Kat Von D's Lock It Primer and also with Sandra Deluxe's Peach Glam Deluxe Primer as well. Um, and then I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I'm not pretty sure, not sure what the color is. I think it's caramel, but I will put the details down at the bottom. I'm just going to spread this all out over my face and then I'm going to blend it out with my Beauty Blender. It was way more sheer than um, I expected, so I do go in with another coat of the foundation and blend it all in. I'm then going to go in with my Black Opal uh, Full Coverage Concealer under my eyes and any of the high points on my face where I really wanted to be a little bit lighter. And guys, this concealer was so thick, like the quality was crazy good. And it's definitely a drugstore product, it's only like $10. But um, I'm going to go in and really blend it out. Because it was so thick, I ended up having to spray my Beauty Blender with my Makeup Forever um, setting spray just to help it set a little bit more. After a quick breather, I then go in with my Laura Mercier um, setting powder and I just set the concealer so that it doesn't crease on me and I'm just going to go under my eyes again and down the bridge of my nose on my t-zone just to um, really really set that in place Next, I'm going to go in with the eyebrow pencil that was made by Ardell Cosmetics and just shape it out a little bit more and give it a fuller look. I don't like my eyebrows to be too dark. I like for them to be as natural as possible, so I may even possibly make one eyebrow um, a little less symmetrical than the other just to give it a natural look because it is an everyday makeup look that I am filming. I then go in um, with my Urban Decay Concealer and just clean them up a little bit more and shape them a little bit more. And as you can see um, what I was talking about, I do do one eyebrow just slightly um, less symmetrical than the other. I then go in and brush off all that setting powder that was on my face with a clean brush, um, making sure to really, really, really try to get it off. I know I look like ghost face right now, but I do go in and I add a little bit of color and by using my Black Opal Finishing Powder. Um, I think it's in medium, but I'll put the details below. I like to go in with another brush after adding in that color and just really blending in all the powders so that they seamlessly flow together. Next, I use my Black Opal Foundation Stick. Again, I'm not sure what color it's in, but I use it as a bronzer and just go around all over my face, um, on my forehead, on my temples, and carving out my cheeks. I then go in to attempt to um, blend it out with this brush. Now, this is very, very thick, so I ended up ditching the brush and then just blending it out with my Beauty Blender.
Next, I'm going to go under my bronzer and clean it up just a bit by using my Laura Mercier um, translucent setting powder again. I do like to uh, have a very, very clean um, bronzer look, and just in case I went crazy with the brush a little bit. <laughs> then I'm going to go in with my Rimmel London Scandalous Eye Eyeliner <laughs> and make my wink. Um, because it wasn't as pigmented, let's see, as the Kat Von D um, eyeliner in Trooper, uh, it took me a while to get it together, <laughs> honestly. But I ended up um, getting a pretty clean look with the pencil. I then go in with another Rimmel London eye pencil and I just connect my wing to the inner corner of my eye and I try to darken it up a little bit more as well. Next, I am going to sweep off that powder that was sitting under my bronzer um, with one of my Real Techniques brushes. I also go around and try to blend that bronzer in and not make it seem as though there's just a clear line between my bronzer and setting powder. I use my blush brush to put on a blush that is by Black Radiance and it's actually really one of my favorites because it's so pigmented for it to only be like five dollars. But again using my brush I just blend it all in so it can look as seamless as possible. And using the brush that I blended my bronzer with, I'm just going to go down my nose and slightly contour it just a little bit with that bronzer. And then I'm going to blend it out with my Beauty Blender. I then go in with uh, my highlighter. I couldn't find a drugstore highlighter, but I did end up using one of the eyeshadow looks from an eyeshadow palette from Maybelline. I'll put the details in the description box. But I, again, go on a high point of my cheeks and I go down the middle of my nose. And I just blend that out with my fan brush just a little bit since the brush that I used didn't exactly um, blend it, if you want to say. <laughs> Now I wanted to do a new look for this um, everyday look that I was going for so I go in with my ColourPop pencil in the color Chi and I just line my lips all around making sure I really get in there. Then I go in with the NYX matte lipstick in the color London. For my eyelashes I go in with L'Oreal's um, mascara called Feline, it's the Feline one, and I just coat them all over. I really like for my eyelashes to be heavily coated, so it kind of took me like five minutes, even off camera. <laughs> and I just, you know, let my hair down. Um, I really don't do much with my locks. I'm kind of boring as far as when it comes to any styles for my locks. It's just Keep it simple and straight down, straightforward. <laughs> but that's my finished look, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe.